On May 10, 2018, Faith's in Tune Interfaith Music Festival got off to a great start at the Royal Club in Turin, Italy. The music festival lasted for five days and was co-sponsored by the German founding organization of Faiths in Tune, Coexist, Music and Events, Eintevel Kofferflau, along with the Center for Studies on New Religions, the Osservatorio Soplorismo Religioso of Turin, the International Observatory of Religious Liberty of Refugees, and the Turin International Book Fair. Faiths in Tune aims to provide a platform for people of different cultural and faith backgrounds to share their own music and to engage in mutual exchange. This year's music festival attracted music and art performers from many religions, including Catholicism, Protestantism, and Judaism. They were separated into such different performance styles as choirs, xylophone playing, solo guitar, and song performance and music recitals in order to express their faith. Besides music and art performances, the festival had exhibitions of publications and artwork, speeches and discussions and award-giving events. At 7.15 in the evening of May 13, when a song and dance performance with the title Christianity in China was just beginning, an actress introduced the performers by saying, We are Christians from the Church of Almighty God in China. Ever since the Chinese Communist Party came to power in China, religious groups such as Protestants and Catholics have been persistently and brutally suppressed and persecuted. And this has been going on for over 60 years. The Church of Almighty God has, of course, also suffered the savage arrest and persecution of the CCP. And we've been hounded so much that we've been forced to flee our homes and seek asylum in Italy. We are so happy today to be able to attend this music festival that we may here share with everyone our faith and culture and increase our mutual understanding. And we thank God for arranging it. The brothers and sisters of our church have prepared theatrical performances to show you all. And finally, we offer our sincere thanks and praise to God. May God bless us and guide us through the days to come. To accompany the hymn, the happiness in the good land of Canaan, the Christians from the Church of Almighty God joyfully danced an Indian Bollywood dance to convey their acceptance of Almighty God's work of the last days and to express their enjoyment of God's bountiful provision of truth, evoking feelings of joy as though they were entering into the good land of Canaan. The dance also expressed their praise and adoration for the return of the Lord Jesus Almighty God, and it afforded the audience an understanding of how rich and colorful the church life of Christians in the Church of Almighty God is. The Christians then sang the hymns of God's words, God is seeking your heart and your spirit. The result achieved by knowing God and showed the significance of the appearance of God with Tai Chi dance. God does a stage of great work each time He reveals Himself. This work is different from that of any other age, unimaginable to man, never experienced by man. It's a work that starts a new age and concludes the old age, a new and improved work for the salvation of mankind and a work of bringing mankind into the new age. It's the significance of the appearance of God. Their singing and dancing won great applause from the whole audience. Once the performance was over, one Christian from the Church of Almighty God gave an emotional speech, saying, Because of the CCP's brutal persecution in China, we have no religious freedom. Now we are in a democratic free country, and at last, we can worship God freely and we can sing and dance in praise of God in public places. We have been blessed by God in many foreign countries and have produced many films and theatrical works. We encounter many difficulties while making these artworks. But united as one, we pray to God and relied on Him. And we saw His guidance and blessings. Thank God! 
The founder of Faith in Two Interfaith Music Festival, Ms. Anya Falenkamp, expressed her admiration for the Christians' performances, saying, Well, first of all, thank you to the Church of the Almighty God for participating. It was really lovely. We have never had participation from your church before. And uh, it's always a great pleasure to have new groups join this, this movement, really. Of course, I, uh, I was really fascinated, first of all, the quality of the dance and the quality of the singing was fantastic. But what I loved more than everything was the enthusiasm of people. You could really see that people love what they are doing. And I think that the people who um, did the dancing and the singing, they really showed that they, they love being part of that community and it really gives them something. It gives them a lot of meaning in their life. So I, I really love the show. Uh, and I also love that you um, brought together uh, traditional Chinese elements I could see in the clothing and the dance uh, but you also brought uh, together you brought that together with uh, Western music that is easy for our Western ear to hear as much as I also love traditional Chinese music but I, I really like um, that uh, to see the fusion of these cultures and to see how the efforts that you make to to feel at home in the new country and at the same time remain that like uh, keep that sense of community keep that sense of heritage i think that's really wonderful and it was everybody enjoyed the show at 5 p.m on may 14th a conference entitled religion music and arts to promote peace and counter radicalization was held at the turin international book fair at the lingado representing the sponsor the turin international book fair was Professor Massimo Gueso, and also in attendance were Professor Luigi Berzano, Director of the Observatory of Religious Pluralism, Ms. Anja Fallenkamp, Founder of Faiths in Tune, Professor Massimo Intervini, Director of CESNUR, Mr. Francesco Curto of ORLIR, Nino Boetti, Chairman of the Piedmont Special District Committee, along with other members of the District Committee. At the conference, the representatives of over 10 religions gave speeches one after the other. The representative of the Christians from the Church of Almighty God gave an account of the situation in China, where they faced the CCP's persecution because of their faith, and explained the issues encountered whilst seeking asylum in Italy. After taking power, the CCP began to manacle, oppress, and persecute the religions including Protestantism and Catholicism. It condemned Protestantism and Catholicism as cults, confiscated and burned countless copies of the Bible after condemning it as a cult book, and also expelled many foreign missionaries. Since coming to power in recent years, Xi Jinping has continued to escalate the persecution of the house churches in the name of synthesization of Christianity. A large number of official three self churches were blown up and the crosses also demolished. Even the online sales of the Bible have been completely banned. All these show that the CCP's persecution of religious beliefs has reached the pinnacle. According to rough statistics, in just two years from 2011 to 2013, over 380,000 Christians from the Church of Almighty God were arrested and imprisoned by the CCP. Over 40,000 Christians were subjected to various forms of torture and cruel treatment by private courts. As of December 31, 2017, the record shows that there were 51 Christians from the Church of Almighty God murdered by the CCP. At least 500,000 Christians were forced to leave their homes behind. The CCP's persecution has brought death and devastation to countless families in China. In order to avoid being persecuted, some Christians have even been forced to flee to democratic countries overseas. In fact, when it comes to the persecution of the Chinese Christians, the above statistics and facts are just the tip of the iceberg. Yet they are also sufficient to make people in the world see clearly the CCP's criminal acts. At the end of the event, as approved by the Music Festival Review Committee, the chairman of the Piedmont Special District Committee, Nino Boiti, announced that the Church of Almighty God was to be granted the Group Award for Resistance to the Religious Persecution 
Miss Anya Fallenkamp won the Religious Dialogue Award, while other award winners included Mr. Dasaiku Ikeda, the president of the Japanese Buddhist group Soka Gakkai, and Miss Dia Kudi of the Hinduism. During the proceedings, a sponsor of the music festival said, "I'm Francesco, a lawyer working in the religious field." And this year, I was responsible for organizing this festival of music and art. We had great performances from all 26 religious denominations. The performance by the Church of Almighty God brought much joy, and it deserved praise. I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much. All faiths in China suffer persecution and are condemned as evil cults. Many different churches and organizations have been destroyed, and Christians are persecuted, arrested, and thrown into prison. According to China's criminal law, people can be sentenced from three to seven years or more in jail, and the sentence can be even harsher than this. It's clear that there is no freedom of religious belief in China. During this music festival, the Church of Almighty God exhibited many different writings. Including the Bible in the Age of Kingdom, the Word appears in the flesh, as expressed by Almighty God. Also exhibited were films and videos independently produced by the church, and the exhibition brought people from different religions and also members of the audience over to watch and ask questions. It is understood that Faiths in Tune Interfaith Music Festival. Is a religious music festival that has been held every year since 2012, either in London, UK, or Berlin, Germany, and each event attracts attendees from many different religions. There was something different about the event held in Turin this year, however, as the Church of Almighty God's attendance became the highlight of the music festival, and it afforded the attending guests a greater understanding of the situation of religious persecution in China. Thank you for tuning into today's program. Until next time.